Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to find all the functions f mapping r to r such that f satisfy the functional equations. I will present the solutions in two methods. In the first method, we are just replacing x with y and y with x. So we have these equations. And then subtract the first equations by the second equations. We cancel out fx plus y and cancel out fx times fy, so we have these equations. And these equations can be written just like this. Divided by 2 to the power of 2, then multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus y, we have 2 to the power of x times fx is equal to 2 to the power of y times fy. As we can see, this equation is true for any real numbers x and y. So we can replace y with 0 or 1 or any other numbers. Any choices of y will give us 2 to the power of x is equal a constant. Which means fx is equal the constants over 2 to the power of x. And now we are going to find the value of suitable constant c. To find this value, we just need to substitute this fx into the original functional equations. So we have these equations. Multiplied by 2 to the power of x plus y, we have c is equal c squared plus 4c, which is c squared plus 3c is equal 0. By factoring c squared plus 3c into c times c plus 3, we have c is equal 0 or c is equal minus 3. So we have fx is equal c over 2 to the power of x, which the suitable constant c are 0 and minus 3. Therefore, fx is equal 0 or fx is equal minus 3 over 2 to the power of x. And there, we got the solutions from the first method. Next, in this second method, we just need to substitute x and y equal to 0 into the original functional equations. So we have f0 is equal f0 square plus 4 times f0. Subtract both sides with f0. Then factoring the right hand side, we have f0 is equal 0 or f0 is equal minus 3. To find the explicit form of f, we just need to substitute x equal to 0 into the original functional equations. So we have these equations. By writing fy in terms of y, so we have this explicit form of fy. Since we already have the possible values of f0, we can substitute f0 equal to 0 into the explicit form of fy. So we have fy is equal 0. By substituting f0 equal to minus 3, we have fy is equal minus 3 over 2 to the power of y. And there we get the solutions from the second method. So we are done.